grew up with Archie Comics. You probably did too. Did you know they've gone so woke that now their characters are trans and falling in love with each other? I have a doozy for you. I, I don't know about you, but when I was a little boy, I loved comic books, okay? And one of the comic books I loved was this one, Archie. Archie, yes. You, you remember Archie? Yes. So I hold on to your freaking chair, my friend. What's wrong with Archie? And I, something's wrong with Archie now. Tell me about oh it. Oh, my God. The Archie Comics Universe has announced that they are now going to have a transgender person in the series. The character's name is Danny Malloy. He is was a Bud Light? In, Is that the same what, Bud Light guy? I, I, I don't know because I haven't read Archie in a few years. Okay. But, um, <laughs> he's, he's the love interest to the main character, Dilton Doyloy. And the sidekick to Jinx Holiday. I don't even know who these people are. But now he is a transgender woman. And the new comic book series is written by trans comic writer Magdalene Visagio. And she, who's a he, the writer, has wanted to have this happen for a really long time. So I'm honored and I'm grateful to Archie for never once pushing back on my insistence on making their comic books a little more queer. Oh my queer. This is a quote. And I hope Danny, the character, finds a good home at Archie with supportive writers and artists helping to keep her, him, alive for years to come. And the director of editorial at Archie Comics says, this is not this is one of, if not the most important, one-shot comic beginning we've ever released in our history. And oh, by the way. What? And oh, by the way, Batman Comics has also announced that the Joker is now trans and pregnant. Well, I'm not making this up. My... Two out of three top comics have gone queer, and they're proud of it. Batman's number one nemesis, the Joker, is now a trans pregnant thing. I saw the picture. I didn't even want to put it up. It's disgusting. And Archie comic books. The question's a little different. If you're a six-year-old kid like I used to be, what does this teach you about sexuality? It doesn't teach you anything but confusion. It's going to cause more ki more children to be confused about who they are. They shouldn't even be learning about sexual activities at the age of six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11, 12. They shouldn't even be learning about any of that. They shouldn't be introduced to any of that. And these companies are basically going woke. That, that's all that this is. They're going woke and they believe society is ready for it. They believe society is will accept their perversion on what they want to push on the children. In most cases, it has backfired. I mean, I wouldn't, you know what, knowing this, I wouldn't even purchase an Archie comic book. Now, I used to I used to read Archie when I was a kid, just I like did you. Too. You That's know, and why I used I to put the story on. Yeah, DC, Marvel, I used to read these comic books. I used to love them, Thor, all of them. I used to read them and you know, and I would be fascinated by it because of the, the graphics, designs, the stories. And, but now it's like they're they're forgetting their, their roots. They're forgetting where they came from. And now they want to push this this demonic stuff, this this perversion onto children. And let me say this, Barry. If you're an adult, and I've, I've, I've repeated this before, if you're an adult and you want to go buy these comic books that has child pornography in it, you, sh you should go to jail for that. But if you want to buy a book that has, you know, transgender, whatever it is in it, and you're an adult, then you should be able to go buy it. But when it comes a problem is when they start putting it, pushing it onto children. That's when I have a problem with it. That's when everybody should have a problem with it. No one cares what you are, what you do as an adult. That's different. Leave the kids out of it.
Well, that's, that's my whole point, you know, because this is personal for me and it's personal for you because as a boy, you read the same stuff I read as a boy, right? And, and it was wholesome and it had values and they had life lessons, you know, it was like the Boy Scouts in a comic book. Yeah. Now, as, as this writer said, it's a guy who's a girl or something like that, I guess, saying, I'm so honored that I'm making the Archie world more queer. What message does it send to a confused second grader who's seven or eight years old that doesn't understand sex yet, that he is a she and she becomes a he and then he gets pregnant and fights Batman. I mean, <laughs> the insanity and it talked about exploding the transgender community. You encourage children to do something, whatever it is, they'll do it because they're yeah. impressionable young minds looking yeah. for guidance. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you're a parent and you buy this for your kid and you don't know what your kid's reading, oh my goodness, it's like this insidious disease has crawled into your house, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you know what, Bear, but and there's actually a movement right now to where if your child is indoctrinated by a sick adult, you know, at school, a counselor, teacher, what have you, and your child is saying that they want to transition, they're actually trying to call it child abuse. If you don't start putting your children on the puberty blockers, you don't start trying to transition your children. And they're even calling for your child to be removed from their home. If you do not go along with the perversion that some other sick adult has indoctrinated your ch child with. And, you know, it's really interesting how they they're looking at the Joker as the, you know, becoming trans and pregnant. You know, it kind of goes along with our society because look at the last few cases of the, the violent crimes of, you know, the school shootings, uh, mass shootings. It's been someone who's been non-binary or trans. Look at Nashville. They still won't release the transcript or the man manifest from the, the, the trans terrorists in Nashville. They won't release it. Why won't they release it? Because it goes against their narrative. And it's no coincidence that they want the Joker, a bad guy, to be trans. So at least at least they're going with the whole, you know, reality of it all. That is who's actually committing all these horrific crimes. But, you know, they're making out the bad guys to be the good guys. And that's what's happening. Because oh, how dare you, Batman? The Joker's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you punch the Joker, Batman? Don't you, don't you feel stupid? stupid saying this and, and by the way that could, right, that could right. be a line in the comic book yeah that's what i'm saying don't how dare you batman you hit joker joker's pregnant joker was blowing up stuff joker was killing people but how dare you but that's our well, society they I, they elevate criminals they'll put they'll even build statues for criminals